In this video I'll be showing you how to locally transfer your Steam games from one computer to another computer on your local network. So there are two different ways you can do this. You can either be signed into your Steam account on both computers and you can then choose what games you'd like to transfer over to the other computer through your local network, saving you a lot of time as it means you don't need to download these massive files through the internet. So if you've got a bit of a slow internet connection like myself, then it can take hours to download some of these games, especially games like Ark or Warzone, as they're such big game files. But doing a local network transfer does not take nowhere near as long. So it's a fantastic way to transfer games quickly. You can also sign into a different Steam account on the other computer. This is the second way. And then as long as that person's also got the same game on their Steam library, then they can also transfer that game to their computer. So let's go ahead and jump into Steam now and look at how you can go ahead and do a local network transfer. Okay, so once you've signed into Steam, there is actually a setting that we need to change first to be able to do the local network transfers. And this morning, I must say there was actually a Steam update and it's changed the look of the GUI ever so slightly. I must admit I do like the look of this, so if your Steam doesn't look like this just yet, then you can click on Steam in the top left hand corner and go check for Steam Client Updates and this will then update your Steam and it will then look like this. So we then do need to also go to this menu, so click on Steam in the top left hand corner and then go to Settings. You then need to go down to Downloads and you then need to scroll down until you come across this option here that says game file transfer over local network. So you need to ensure this is toggled to on. So it needs to be blue. Once you've enabled this, you then need to click on this drop down menu and you need to change it to either anyone, Steam friends or only me. So basically only me means if you sign into Steam on your other local network computer, you need to be signed into your Steam account on both computers to be able to transfer the files locally. If you do Steam Friends, that came out totally wrong. If you do Steam Friends, then you need to be a friend with the other person that signed in on the other computer to be able to do the local network transfer. If you do anyone, then of course, you can then just transfer to anyone that's on your local network. So I've actually got this option selected because no one else but myself and my family would be on my local network. So that's absolutely fine for myself. So once you've selected one of the options, you can then close down this window and you do need to also change the setting on the other computer and make sure that local network transfers enabled. You can then find the game that if, like I said at the start, if it's in your Steam library and you're signed into both computers on the Steam library, you can then click on install. So, you do need to have the latest version of the game on the computer that you want to install it from and it does of course need to be installed for it to be able to get the files from that computer. Another thing as well, you need to go on to manage downloads and you do also need to stop all current downloads and then put them into the unscheduled. So if there is a file in the up next, then just click on the X, the cross, and then that will put it into the unscheduled. So once you've done that, I'm going to use Torchlight 2 as the example here. This is currently installed and updated on my other computer. So if I now go install, and then I'm just going to select my F drive and go install, it's now beginning to download. So what I'm going to do now is start the record on my other computer so you can see what it's saying on that computer. And as you can see on the other computer, it now says hosting network transfer. And if I go ahead and go onto the download page, it says the same thing, hosting network transfer. So you know that it's definitely grabbing the game files from your local computer. So I'm now gonna jump back onto my computer. Okay, and if I now go back to downloading, you can see here that it's downloading at quite a fast rate. Well, it's actually downloading faster than my internet connection. So that's not actually gonna take very long to download 1.6 gig and then I will have Torchlight 2 on my computer. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below, and if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button.